This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to talk briefly about a lock that's often been the laughing stock of the picking community, the Master Lock Number 3. I recently saw them at my local hardware store with a sticker proclaiming that they are now even stronger. My curiosity got the better of me, so I picked a few of them up to see what changed, and it turns out that Master Lock did implement at least one major improvement. If we look at this older variant of the number three, we can see down the shackle hole one of the spring-loaded locking lugs that holds the shackle closed. I can just push it aside with this piece of metal. There's one of them on either side, and we can also see the square recesses into which those locking lugs fit. Unfortunately, this mechanism has been outdated for at least 50 years, probably longer, and it opens this lock up to a variety of low-skill attacks like shimming and wrapping. In addition, it's not particularly resistant to pulling and prying attacks. Now let's compare that with the new lock. This has a dual ball bearing locking mechanism, which if we look down the shackle, we can see one of the ball bearings. Again, they are on either side, and we can also see the half moon shaped cutouts into which those ball bearings fit. This is essentially the gold standard when it comes to holding a shackle closed. So well done to Master Lock on that account. Unfortunately, when undergoing this major redesign, they didn't address the lock's other major deficiency, and that is the core. It still has only four pins, and it still lacks any security pins. That means despite Master Lock undertaking significant effort to redesign this lock, it can still be opened in moments with a low-skill raking attack. So let's try that right now. using some bottom of the keyway tension and one of these wave rakes. There we go, got that one open in a couple seconds. And let's try this one as well. And that one opened even faster. So master lock, well done dropping in a dual ball bearing locking mechanism. However, now's not the time to rest on your laurels. That's because this lock still needs a few more changes to carry it over the finish line. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.